Hello, makers, and welcome back to Making with Ms. Dobras. All right, we are continuing on with design challenges with a focus on movement, and today we are going to make a catapult. A catapult is something that launches something, and this is going to be fun. Uh, all you need is popsicle sticks and rubber bands and a plastic spoon or fork, and you can make a catapult. Okay, these are the materials you need to make a catapult. So you're going to need six popsicle sticks. These are regular popsicle sticks, but you can also make them with jumbo popsicle sticks if you have these, and I actually like to make them with jumbo sticks better. But either one works, and I'm going to show you how to make it with regular popsicle sticks. So again, if you have a popsicle or an ice cream bar, save that popsicle stick. And you need at least three rubber bands. Sometimes you can get those on things from the grocery store, and there's all different places you can find rubber bands. And then you need a plastic spoon, or this is a spork. You can use a plastic fork or a plastic spoon. A plastic spoon works a little better. And if you don't have a plastic spoon, you can also do this, where you just take a lid that you're going to throw away, and you can glue it on to a popsicle stick. So there's different ways. And then for a ball, we need a ball. This is just out of tin foil. I took a piece of tin foil, and then I just smushed it up into a ball. Uh, you can also use a pom-pom. The main thing is you want something that is soft and not going to hurt anyone. So you don't want to be launching marbles because those could hurt. Okay? All right, let's do it. All right, to start... We take five of the six popsicle sticks and we stack them together and we are going to attach them with, we're going to put a rubber band around them to attach them together. And so you put it around and then you twist it and you put it around again and then you twist it and you put it around again, twist it, put it around again, twist it, put it around again. We're trying to make it tighter and tighter. So it keeps these sticks together. If you've ever done a ponytail, then you know what I'm doing here. But basically, we put that rubber band on so it's tight and holds those sticks together. Now you want it to be towards the top, okay? So we have five of the sticks. We have one more stick left. And now we're going to just pull off our one stick, okay? And we're going to slide this in so that it's in between there's four sticks on top and one on the bottom. Okay, so, and now we're going to take another rubber band and we're going to attach the other end just like we did before. Just remember to twist it each time. Okay, so, and again, you want that towards the top. So now we want to pull this to the middle almost like an X or a cross, okay? So we have five on top, one on the bottom. No, four on top, one on the bottom. And now we're ready to attach our spoon, okay? Or in this case, it's a spork. And if you don't have a spoon, you can always glue a cap onto a popsicle stick. Maybe with Elmer's glue, you're probably going to want to let that dry before you start playing with it. If you have hot glue, you can do that as well. And now we're going to take this end and we're going to attach one more rubber band. All right. So now before we can play with it, we want to push this down as far as we can. And when we do that, the angle is going to increase here. So watch. If it's out this way, it's pretty flat. And as we pull it this way, the angle goes up. And we need that angle to make a catapult. Now, here's my ball that I'm gonna, I made out of tinfoil. I also have a pom-pom. Whatever you use, you want it to be something that's not hard because you don't want to hurt anyone. Please do not shoot this at anyone because that would be bad. All right, and someone could get hurt. Yeah, nice. Woo. Wow, this thing really works. Mm -hmm. 
All right, there is a simple popsicle catapult. A catapult is something that launches something. And I think that you will find as you play around with it, you can get it to launch farther and maybe you can get it to launch more accurate. If you like making catapults and things like this, if you, if you, if you go onto YouTube and search catapult, then you will find all different kinds of catapults that you can make with simple things at home, like popsicle sticks, rubber bands, and plastic spoons. And there's a lot of different kinds you can make. So if you like this, go explore and make some more. I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. Maybe you want to make a target so you can shoot at it. Um, please, again, safety first. Never, never, never shoot anything that could hurt someone or never shoot something at someone. Okay? All right. As usual, have fun with it. Stay safe out there and keep on making.